first serve here from Maximova. Landot off one leg gets the kill. Grunsfelder in for Grunzi to serve. Maximova, Cheshlik dug by Grunsfelder. Great sprawl. And Gonzalez high off the hands, a signature shot. Hustled by Madison Chitty, but could not get it up. As Grunsfelder served from behind zone five and picks on Maximova in zone one. Landa to Gonzalez. You know, I'm really impressed by Rutgers discipline on defense and their blocking. They do a really nice job um, under this, under Caitlin Schweighoffer. As you see uh, Landa come in for the attack and there we go, Cheshleek with, oh. She doesn't get it. Landa last night in their four set win against Purdue uh, hit negative 022. So Purdue did a nice job of figuring her out. As you see Landa block. Camilla Cheshleek there. The story of her season so far is just carrying the Bucks through very long service runs as you see her start a 5-0 run here in the first to start the match. And Maximova overpass. Davis puts it away. She'll still probably pick on her down on zone one and that is Kara Newell who passed that ball. And the free ball takes out Pedraza and Gonzalez, another nice high swing. They've got Kara Newell back there right now, a sub for Maximova, who uh, struggled in the first five reps of the game. And Cheshleek tips it over, takes out Pedraza, out of system swing for Gonzalez, and she just does it again. Just a nice high swing by Gonzalez. Uh, handled by Gonzalez. Davis on the 31. Nice little fade, push 31, hits it to zone five there. Kodojevic, uh, very much the leader, the offensive leader of the Scarlet Knights. As you see, Grunsfelder mishandle that serve. And Gonzalez just automatic right now, 5-0-5, five, five, hitting it 1,000. Almost, I would say, four of those swings have been out of system as well. But not a lot of women's teams keep their opposite in and run that D-ball, a back row, set behind the setter very often. So that's a, and there, there you see the D ball miss set by Pedraza from the Bucks. Maximova knocks it over, Murr, and uh, set over. Cheshleek, Gonzalez, off speed, catches Max, Maximova sleeping. They're not a team that stays in system all the time. I wouldn't say that they were, uh, they're were they the best ball handling team that I've seen, but they do a really nice job hitting themselves out of tough spots as you Raider fading away on the 31 there, gets it to zone five. Balika to serve. Handled by Gonzalez, great pass. Landot on the D ball. And Maximova was out over helping with the middle and help stop them or do they stay on the D ball? And Pedraza here with the uh, little boring little serve there, but it's uh, passed over. Maximova back to serve. Medium pass by Gonzalez. Slide by Landot. Nice dig by Murr. Back to Kodojevic. Handled by Pedraza. Another out of system swing here for Landot. Just going to have to send it over. And Vernon, ooh, covered by Cheshleek. And Maximova again caught sleeping. That's two plays by Maximova where she's just not ready to play the ball. When there's a misconnection there, Landa is, is there's a little hitch in her step as she approaches as Pedraza slings that ball out to Gonzalez. And Cheshleek will have a out of system swing. She's gonna free ball that over after the cover. And a go set to Gonzalez. If the pass is in that area, Pedraza likes to stay pretty fast to the pins. And if it's outside that area, it slows down quite dramatically, which is pretty hard on the defense. As you see Landa and Raider get in there on the blocking with uh, a block of Cheshleek. You don't have to be perfect to score points. You gotta put the ball in the court on somebody. Landa to serve. Scramble play, free ball, and Pedraza just puts it down. Poor decision by Kadojevic to just put that ball about two inches above the net. 
Cheshlik is pushed up into zone four, a primary passer usually. Bleak on the run, and Cheshlik gets a good high swing off the hands. Cheshlik already 10 attacks, but hitting negative 100. McNamara hits the overpass, dug by Murr, and Raider in transition makes herself available. Uh, her middle's in that situation. Gonzalez picking on Kodojevic. Kodojevic out of the pipe, but Raider and Pedraza are there. Looked like that ball might not have even made it over the net. Uh, especially when they've gotten the ball to the middle, they've been pretty successful. So Gonzalez picks on Kodojevic again. And they're gonna go right back to the play they ended that timeout on. Out of system swing for Grunzi and takes that ball down into the net, but off the hands of Shea McNamara and out of bounds. Shitty, a really nice, very nice player. She's really fun to watch. 3.79 digs per set on the season. That's good production from number two. As Mia Grunzi, I think, might have mishit that ball. And Raider to serve now for the Bucks. And still picking on Kodojevic. And uh, nice little joust at the net. Out of system swing by Grunzi. And four to four. Wrist away. Great shot by Grunzi. Raider to serve again. Kodojevic finally pushed out of the receive pattern. Cheshley handles that one. Maximova off the hands and out of bounds. They have to have the ball in her hands for her to be able to do it. And Grunzi ricochets through the block and down to end the first set. Buckeyes in total control that set. Real market champions is how they handle teams they're supposed to beat. And unfortunately on paper, as you see McNamara on the slide covered by Cheshley, but miscommunication falls. When they can beat teams they're supposed to beat, and unfortunately they're supposed to beat Rutgers tonight. So if they can continue to handle this team the way they are, then they're trending the way they need to be trending as Murr makes a great running dig and transition to Maximova and Davis kind of blocks that ball up and Londa throws it right down. I know as a receiver when I played that the worst position to be in is looking down the barrel of a long run and knowing you're going to get served. But Chitty did a nice job handling that as she sets that ball out of system and Maximova swings high. And knowing as a receiver that you're going to get that ball and that the pressure is on for you to pass it well. Maximova blocked by Londa and Davis. They've got to put this ball in Malika's hands and let her set somebody different. There she goes on the D ball. Kodojevic. Chitty to serve. Pass by Gonzalez to Landot. A little soft block. Grunsfelder set out a system to Gonzalez and Vernon closes it down with Malika. And there's a little bit of momentum that you want. Chitty again to serve. This is the Bucks in rotation two. Handled by Gonzalez, out to Gonzalez on the go, and just a little long. Murr, shanked pass. Out of system ball for Landa. She does a nice job pulling it off the inside hand of Vernon, and Murr will go back to serve. Maximova, Vernon, tipped over, handled by Landa. Go ball to Gonzalez. Maximova gets that. Koyadinovic and puts it away. At least five of those have come from the left side. I know one came from the middle as Gonzalez handles that ball, shoves it to zone four. And Koyadinovic again dug by Pedraza. Landat and a little bit of slap ball going on. Maximova. Dug over by Gruensfelder and Murr keeps it alive. In system free ball here. Maximova, Gruensfelder, pursued by Landat, but she cannot handle it. So good rally all the way around. Great effort there. They have clawed their way back 5 5 early in the set, but big for the momentum of the match for them to be tied here as Gonzalez overpasses that ball. And that's a back row attack by Pedraza. A late first lead, but some momentum for the Scarlet Knights as Landak goes back to serve. And Cheshlik serves. 
Koyadinovich dug by Murr. Recycled by Gonzalez. Grunsfelder again out of system for Gonzalez and Long. <clears throat> and it looks like we have a net by Koyadinovich. And that's where your either body gets too close to the net or your hands get too far and too close to the net as well. Uh, Maximova can't handle that ball with her hands and uh, Landot gets the ace. So the fleeting lead of 6-5 for the Knights has gone by the wayside and the Bucks lead 8-6 as Maximova slams that goal ball down into zone six. Grunsfelder, one pass out of system, Gonzalez, Chitty. Oh, good, good move by Balika and they're gonna call her under the net. I don't know the rule book front and back, so I'm probably wrong on that one. But good effort there by Chitty. Maximova passes that ball, Vernon on the 31. Landot handled, and Balika digs the setter dump. Koyadinovich, nice little roll shot down to zone five. Handled by Murr. Raider, right off the face of Balika. I hope she's okay. Watch Riley Raider, she is very quick. Handled by Koyadinovich and Cheshlik off the hands of Pedraza, and I think that's totally on purpose because she, her serve is pretty weak as the Bucks overpass that ball and McNamara throws that ball right down. Londa did a nice job jumping her hands back into that angle as Chitty handles that pass. McNamara dug by Gruensfelder. Londa out of rhythm again, poor location from Pedraza. Balika, Balika gets it. And scrambling across the net, gets thrown onto her back as the Scarlet Knights trail by one here in the second. Chitty serving Gonzalez, go ball. Chitty handles the ball from Gonzalez. Maximova taking out the left, right's the only option. Dug by Cheshlik over. Oh, Kojadinovic. With some really good effort there, but was pretty far out of position to cover that ball. Middle of the second set here. Murr to serve. Handled by Cheshlik. Back to Maximova. And Pedraza couldn't quite get it up. She was there, but couldn't get it high enough for a teammate to get it. She's a great server, scores a lot of points from the inline, but doesn't quite have the production she does in the front court. Grunsfelder. Go ball, poor set there by Pedraza and takes Gonzalez into the net. So any of that sling that ball short and into the net. Murr handles that one. Pedraza nice and stable. And Cheshley digs Raider. Maximova out of system. Dug by Murr. Raider, second try, gets the kill. Has really shown a lot of maturity in the way she runs an offense these past two years under Coach Oldenburg. And Koyadinovich takes out Pedraza. Gonzalez hammers it, but dug by Chitty over and gets a second chance on that overpass and puts it down. Landot serves from behind zone one to zone five. Maximova and Vernon on a little one and a half ball drift there. Nice play. Middles are hitting these drift sets or fades where they jumping off and, and jumping towards the setter or away from the setter and Vernon there was jumping left to right as you see Maximova get the ace, which makes it really hard for an opposing middle to line up. You see Penn State running it a lot, but you see it drift by like, dribbling into a lot of teams' games as Shitty digs a 31 there. And send a free ball, and Bucks will get another chance, and Raider, second chance, gets the kill. Seems to be the theme here. Just a little late sometimes to get up, so I, they're, in the front read, it looks like. So putting the middle in a in front of the middle, but also just waiting to make sure that she can see the ball. As you see her there again, a little late on the block as Raider buries that ball into Madison Chitty's head. Rutgers really testing the Bucks' fortitude right now. A lot, nice little back one by Koyadinovic and Vernon. Uh, Shoved over by Chitty. Go ball, Grunzi, and finds the line. 
and how can they stop those perfect pass situations? And the Scarlet Knights overpass that ball, and Grunzi just turns and rolls that ball into zone six. Gonzalez still serving. And Newell, medium pass, Cheshleek, dug by Gonzalez over, and Cheshleek with a nice little uh, side of the hand kill on the overpass. Be confident that eventually they're gonna pull away, and that's what the Bucks have done. Gonzalez and McNamara there, a little over eager, gets in the net, but that's what I'm talking about right there, that perfect pass situation. The Scarlet Knights are now keyed in on the middles of Ohio State. Grunzi handles it. Davis with a double block commit on her, puts that ball away in the right spot, but just not expe expecting it. And again, the slow, lazy serve of Pedraza handled easily and another side out in that rotation. Surprise overpass from the Scarlet Knights in her first serve, but have handled that serve very nicely since then. And Cheshleek serves, Gonzalez. Grunzi off the hands, looking like Gonzalez with that swing. Grunsfelder. Maximova, poor pass, slings it across, and Koyadinovic can just sling it over. Free ball. And Gonzalez just buries it off the hands. I'm thinking this is her 15th or 16th serve of the night already and puts it on Koyadinovic, Maximova on the go, and Murr collapsing to her right, can't quite get that ball, and Rutgers survives another point. Many teams have come back from this depth, but they've gotta play great defense here. Chitty to Gonzalez, Davis. Chitty with a great sprawling dig. Maximova slings it over, and, and Grunsfelder running out of system swing. Gonzalez puts it away and she does her job. Bucks take set two, 25 20. Um, 12 0 18 collectively. So, and, and there's another kill from Erica Davis to start the set. Timing that she's being set and the set selection. So, Pedraza doing a very nice job on her as Koyadinovic. Puts an out of system pass for Maximova. But from there, it really falls off in production as Maximova takes that kill. Maximova, that's her sixth kill with four errors on 18 attempts. Camilla Cheshleek, 3 2 14 0 71. So the pins are really the story and the difference as Londot gets that kill. Londot lagging behind here uh, in her usual production. Still not as good as that 600 by Grunzi as you see Murr to serve. Pick, on, pick it on Koya Dinovic and Maxima, Maximo Mova, excuse me. I lost the ability to talk. Maximova. Belika to Vernon. And Belika, nice little tomahawk try and set, but goes awry and over the net and Bucks take an early 4-1 lead. Really runs to start the, each of the sets so far. 8-0 eight eight, eight in the first, 3-0 in the second. And now a 4-1 a run for the Bucks in as Janasia Moore. I missed her coming in the match for Grunzi, but holy cow, and loads on that ball. Really made such an impact last year on this team, and Mia Grunzi beat her out this year, so good to see her on the court. Maximova. Just the off-speed chop off the block. So don't doubt them picking on her, and there she goes. But that's a good first response as Raider tips it into Vernon, and they're just going to try and get it over. But Belika can't with one hand as she runs into the scores table. But a lot of match still left to play as Landot serves that ball, picks on Maximova, and a really poor set by Belika. And Koyadinovic cannot get that ball around the antenna. And Balika, just uh, poor, some poor body language from her um, as she walks off the court. I think that's part of the issue as Maximova gets aced by Landot. And if you are uh, not giving your full effort or your body language is poor, as uh, Scarlet Knights were out of rotation there, uh, 
but the refs are not calling it, so Janasia Moore unloads again and pulls Vernon into the net. Frustration is not going to help you bridge the gap when you're playing somebody as talented as the Bucks. So Londa to serve, Cheshleek, one set, one-handed set to Vernon, and Raider the throw. Chitty chops it over. Raider in transition. Leave those pins one-on-one. -on -one. Londot picking on Cheshleek, handles it well. Koyadinovich, Raider dug by Delo. And Cheshleek on the out of system pipe hits it long. Londot back to serve again from behind zone one, has been serving it down the line to zone five, six, and keeps it on Cheshleek. And back to Maximova and blocked by Janasia Moore and Riley Raider. This could be a huge separation when it comes to 25 for the Bucks. Koyadinovich, Bick to Cheshleek, dug by Landot. Raider in transition now. They're just feeding her and she is feasting. And Erica Davis, 6 0, 7 8, 57. So the middles just cannot be stopped for the Buckeyes as Londot continues to pick that 5-6 seam and Maximova cannot handle that one. And Londot, they've, uh, the Raiders, excuse me, the Scarlet Knights, I don't know why I keep calling them the Raiders. The Scarlet Knights keep switching up what they're doing on the receive pattern as Raider gets another kill there. Max, Maximov on the left and the right, and she's passing in zone five now as that ball Set over is killed by Janasia Moore. Koya Dinovich running all the way across the court. And as a left-handed attacker, you can't really go off one foot going all the way across. So you see her running across the front of the net. Only out of system set there is to Cheshleek, and she can't get that ball over the net. Landak serving again. A 12-0 scoring run for the Buckeyes right now. It's unheard of. Cheshleek sends that ball over. Gonna go to the middle. Ah. Put it to Janasia Moore, and Lauren Delo was not expecting that. She was like 25 feet deep and couldn't quite get to that tip. And they're going to pass with Cheshleek and Madison Chitty. Landot to Chitty. Club teammates. Koyadinovich dug by Landot to Janasia Moore, and she just hammers it. Oh, she has an arm on her. And Koyadinovich on the... Go ball, out of system swing for Koyadinovich with that left hand. Hard ball to hit, out of system there. And Londot puts it on Madison Chitty. Belika back to Maximova. Dug by Murr, Janasia Moore squeaks it through the block and down. This is a, has to be one of the biggest spreads in a set in the Big Ten, maybe in the history of the Big Ten, as Koya Dinovich doesn't handle that well, and Belika sets that ball out and over. So the woes continue here for the Scarlet Knights. To her credit, really does not stop playing as Landot puts that ball on Cheshleek, and she can't handle that. Poor out of system set, and Koya Dinovich again, two bad sets from her. Landot slaps that ball up, and Janasia Moore, oh my lord, unloading on the ball. An absolute cannon of an arm. And Londa had another serve here on Cheshleek, another poor pass, has to forearm set that ball. Maximova off the top of the hands, and that 18 0 scoring run is finally over as Landot checks out of the match. And the ABCA freshman of the year last year takes a break. Maximova puts the ball on Gruensfelder to Janasia Moore, and she stopped finally. Janasia Moore with a second swing. Balika Doug. Kojadinovic off the inside hand and down. Maximova to serve again. Kylie Murr to Raider. And Raider puts it down. Pedraza again does a nice job finding her middles. As Gabby Gonzalez, all the pressure in the world to make this serve. 24 to four. Maximova shanks it. Koyadinovich tomahawks over the net. Out of system swing for the match. And Grunzi gets blocked. 
steep hill she's looking up here. If she's to get them back into this, she's got to go on a long serving run. Shanked by Gonzalez. Grunzi dug by Graver. Balika to Maximov. Maximova. Maximova dig. Balika. Cheshik. Cheshlik down the line to zone one. And they hang on for another point here. Gonzalez, perfect pass. And Raider, ooh, can't finish it off. McNamara slugs it over. And Riley Raider puts it down. A fitting way to end the match for the Buckeyes. Riley Raider with her 12th kill of the match to lead all attackers on the night.